A group of Polyphony Digital sound engineers and designers gave an extensive presentation on Gran Turismo 7's audio production at the CDEC and Kyushu Game Developer Conference in Fukuoka, Japan. The session was led by sound designer Masao Kimura and audio engineers Daisuke Takeuchi and Takashi Minagawa. It provides the most extensive, behind-the-scenes look at Gran Turismo audio ever seen, and reveals a few possible new cars for the game in the process. Although the presentation was actually hosted in November, it's managed to fly under the radar until it was noticed by GT Planet user Brunus CL82 over in our forums. Japanese gaming site 4Gamer summarised the session, and the original slides are available to download from Polyphony Digital's corporate website. The technical session was shared in Japanese and is geared towards those with a background in sound design and engineering, but we've done our best to translate and summarise the highlights for you here. Kimura-san began the presentation by reflecting on the history of sound production in the Gran Turismo series. Over its 25-year history, the team has recorded sounds from over 1,700 vehicles worldwide. The recording methods have significantly evolved, transitioning from using digital audio tape for engine and exhaust sounds to multi-channel recorders that capture a broader range of sounds, including interior and intake sounds. PD's sound team has also conducted extensive testing with various microphones to ensure the highest quality sound capture. The Sennheiser MKH-60 emerged as the preferred choice due to its sharp directivity and high maximum sound pressure level, making it particularly suitable for recording vehicles. However, during the development of GT Sport, it tested over 50 types of microphones, including condenser, dynamic and ribbon microphones. This rigorous testing process provided invaluable data for evaluating the sound differences and characteristics of various microphones. The sound recordings are performed at facilities in Japan, Europe and North America, using hub-type Dynapacks to apply load to the vehicle. It also records impulse response data inside the vehicle, which is crucial in creating a sense of realism, as it helps replicate sound dampening inside the car. The team shared photos of the microphones currently used to record car sounds, including explanations of where each microphone is placed. The lineup includes DPA4062 for the intake sounds, the Rode NT5 for engine sounds, and then three different microphones for exhausts. For close range recordings they would use the DPA4011, for mid range it would be the Sony 100U, and for long range the Soyuz 013. Interior recordings were completed with the Sennheiser Ambio. Notably included is a photo of a new car being recorded which has not yet appeared in a Gran Turismo title. That's the Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo from 2019. The particular car is wearing the livery for the Grey Paul Nottingham official Ferrari dealer, as used in the 2020 Ferrari Challenge Europe season, driven by John Dillon. It's not clear whether the car is being recorded as a reference for sound for the very similar engine and exhaust setup found in the F8 Tributo, which is already in Gran Turismo 7, or if the car itself is scheduled for addition at some point in the future. Interestingly, the recording appears to be taking place at a garage at Nicholson McLaren in the UK. This specialist firm manufactures aviation and automotive engines, including the Williams unit found in the Singer DLS, a car which featured in one of the videos on Gran Turismo 7's official soundtrack. A significant part of the presentation was dedicated to the process of recording tyre sounds. The team collaborates closely with tyre manufacturers and conducts tyre sound recordings at test courses in Japan, the United States and Scandinavia. They record a variety of tyres in different situations, including on asphalt, gravel, dirt, grass and even wet and snowy roads. They also record numerous patterns while communicating with the driver to capture the sound effects of different tyre loads. Curiously, the team noted this level of detail extends to capturing the sound of accidents, such as tyre blow-ups, which can occur due to excessive driving on gravel or dirt roads. Takeuchi-san shifted the focus to the Advanced Engine Sound Synthesizer, or AES for short, a tool that uses physical modelling to create engine sounds without using any sampling waveforms. This approach allows the team to create sounds for vehicles that do not yet exist or are difficult to record, such as Vision GT cars. However, Takeuchi acknowledged that the AES has its limitations, including a somewhat artificial tone that causes a high CPU load. This necessitates limiting the number of notes to around 10 to prevent affecting the game's performance. The team also introduced 3D audio in Gran Turismo 7, a significant advancement that allows for more flexible sound creation, including vertical sound expression. This was achieved by focusing on ambisonics, a technique that can combine signals into buses like conventional channel-based audio. 
They also introduced early reflection effects and directional reverb effects to improve the sense of presence and reproduce a complex sound field. In their conclusion, the team emphasised that the Gran Turismo series continues to evolve in its pursuit of realistic sound creation, ending the presentation with remarks that the GT series is exploring sound creation that respects reality and continues to evolve day by day.